there are only four multi-chain networks. This is the Octopus Network market cap. And this is the Kasama market cap. Whoa, looks like we have to scale it up a bit. Now, the Sarcasmus and Polkadot market capitalization. As you can see, Octopus has the smallest market cap and the biggest potential. Pretty impressive, right? Now I will explain why exactly Octopus had the great chance to grow, not only just like all of the crypto industry giants, but even bigger. But most importantly, Octopus Network's success will not rely on failures of other multi-chain networks. They all are just trying different ways to enable the Web3 revolution. And these diversified networks, including Octopus Network, will ultimately accelerate the mass adoption and integration of Web3. If you are interested and want to learn more, but don't want to spend hours reading through all of the articles and documents, this video is for you. Let's get started. Substrate is the most powerful open source blockchain framework, on which the Polkadot blockchain platform and numerous other blockchain that make up its ecosystem are built. All kinds of blockchains can be built on Substrate, such as public chains, consortium chains, Polkadot parachains, and Octopus app chains. While Substrate has decreased both the cost and effort of building sovereign chains, security bootstrapping is still a technically complex and capital incentive job for developers. In the shared security design of Polkadot and Kusama, developers have only one choice – win a slot in the auction. A parachain must be able to pay for the consensus cost of one shard of the network, which can equate to tens of millions of dollars a year. The results of Kusama's recent five auction winners speak for themselves with winning bids ranging from tens to a hundred million dollars. But Octopus is different from Cosmos and Polkadot and Kusama in that it's lowering the economic barriers of Web3 innovation to make launching application-specific sovereign blockchains more accessible to a broader range of innovators, developers and use cases, with no limits on scalability. But before we dive into second problem and Octopus technologies, let's talk about what an app chain is. An app chain is a separate blockchain dedicated to a specific application or set of applications, unlike a smart contract that usually run on a public or private blockchain. App chains allow developers to customize their applications in terms of governance structure, crypto economic design, even its underlying consensus algorithm. In short, with an app chain, a developer or project can use all of the benefits of having their applications run on their own customizable blockchain while also enjoying low transaction congestion and state validation from the network called Mother Chain. App chains provide various benefits for validators, developers and users. So, the second problem is that there is still no crypto network in existence to serve app chains. Although Polkadot seems the natural choice of substrate-based blockchain to join, its architecture and economy actually do not accommodate app chains. A Polkadot parachain must afford the security cost of one shot aka slot, of the network, meaning tens of millions of dollars per year, while a generic platform parachain called host thousands of applications to share their security cost, it does not make sense for an application-specific blockchain to bear the cost on itself. For a Cosmos zone, its developers have to bootstrap proof-of-stake or tender mean security by obtaining the value recognition of its native token in the crypto asset market and bootstrapping an active validator community from the ground up. Polygon and Scale may seem like options, but in fact they are still smart contract based and not designed for app chains. App chains offer far more than dedicated transaction processing capacity. Once an application has its blockchain, it's absurd to give up customizability and evolvability by sticking to the smart contract paradigm. So where should app chains go? Do they have to stay isolated and bootstrap security and work out interoperability to their own? Not at all. Octopus is here to save us all. Octopus Network is a brand new multi-chain crypto network born to bootstrap and run app chains. By providing flexible lease security, out-of-box interoperability, one-stop infrastructure and ready-to-be engaged community, and by decreasing the capital expenditure to bootstrap an app chain by a hundred times, from several million dollars to less than one hundred thousand dollars, Octopus Network is committed to unleash a new wave of innovation for Web3. As founder of Octopus Network, Lewis Liu explains, Octopus provides out-of-the-box security, interoperability, and on-chain governance to projects looking to create a specific chain for their open web application. The core technology of Octopus Network is a trust-minimal blockchain interoperability. Based on that, Octopus Relay, 
which itself is a set of smart contracts running on near blockchain, provides least security to upchains, and makes upchains interoperable with near and other upchains. Furthermore, upchains can interoperate with blockchains outside the Octopus network, either via bridges on near, such as with Ethereum via Rainbow Bridge, or they can utilize the out of the box IBC meaning inter-blockchain communication pallet, to connect with any ABC-enabled blockchains directly. It was estimated that one Octopus Relay could host several hundreds of applications without difficulty, and there could be multiple relays on multiple shards of the near blockchain. So, Octopus subchains are not limited in number. Security is an extremely important topic that must never be forgotten. But current security solutions have certain limitations. Even if a parachain wins the auction, it usually overpays for security because a crypto network, in its initial stage, simply does not need a multi-billion dollar level of security. The security cost burden may cause those parachain to become trapped in hyperinflation, for they have to promise to issue a big chunk of native tokens to crowd loan lenders. At the very least, this burden leaves the parachain very little space to incentivize the real value creators of their protocol, the participants who help build the network effects of the crypto network. Luckily. Octopus Network have taken good care of all of this. The attractive low cost of Octopus Network services does not mean poor security at all. Octopus Network is built around the OCT token, a fungible, non-inflationary utility token, that is required for stacking on different app chains, built on top of the protocol. Within the Octopus Network, each app chain decides its own economic model, including how many tokens it's willing to pay validators for security. Because it's OCT holder's responsibility to decide which app chain they'd like to stake on, the Octopus Network works as a free market, where app chains can lease the security needed at market price anytime. And that's not all. The Octopus Network has developed many more advanced security technologies. You can read about them in the white paper. Web3 is unstoppable trend. If you participate early, you will reap the benefits and rewards of this emerging trend. With app chains deployed on near through Octopus Network, a whole world of new applications, crypto economic models, governance mechanisms and decentralized solutions are ready to launch on NIR protocol. While NIR will capably handle Octopus subchains in an efficient, scalable and cost-effective manner, Octopus Network holds the promise of bringing entire communities of developers into NIR. As the Web3 space continues to evolve, the new decentralized applications emerge by the day. The partnership between Octopus Network and NIR holds the promise of significantly accelerating the development of the open web, to the great benefit of users, developers, and entrepreneurs alike. Hopefully, you are inspired and truly impressed about Octopus Network's mind-blowing long-term potential. You can join the community right now, through the links below the video. This concludes our review. Links to official Octopus resources will be in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And thank you for watching.